Today is September 25th. We're coming up on our first frost here in Zone 6B in mid-October. So we're getting close to time to winterize the hives. And for those who've watched the previous videos, you know some of our hives have been in uh, a little bit of difficult situation. We have the mother colony, which uh, was our original colony, and we did several splits off of it uh, to propagate additional colonies to give a better chance of getting through winter with some surviving colonies. At last check, this colony also um, was fairly short on resources. They had zero brood, which was a little surprising, and they had, were storing up some nectar but didn't really have any honey, any capped honey stored up. So. Uh, we'll see how they are doing. And I call this the mother colony because this is the first colony I added to my apiary. And it's one from which I took three other colonies as splits. And once I'd done that and picked out some of the best brood frames, not just to start those other colonies, but also to kind of help them along when I wasn't sure of their queen status, it kind of left them with the leftovers. And so I've kind of let them go in and it was never really a weak colony after that, but obviously it was somewhat weakened after you take some of their resources from them, some of the brood and, and everything. So I haven't done a whole lot with them. I'll kind of watch the entrance, make sure there's still some traffic, make sure they're still looking good. On last inspection, I was a little disturbed because um, it was still early enough that I expected to see some brood and there was none. And so I don't know if that means I have a bad queen status. Uh, I kind of took it at the time that uh, it was an issue kind of like the other colonies. They'd kind of quit laying because they didn't have a whole lot of resources. Now, I inspected that colony after I had started feeding. So uh, they did have some nectar stored at that time. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to find in here. They have pretty good comb built out because they were the first colony. They had more time to build comb than the others. Uh, but... Uh, uh, other than that, we'll see what they've got. Now, since I've been feeding, maybe the queen has done some more laying. We might have some more brood. Or we might get in there and find absolutely no uh, evidence of a queen. This time it's kind of hard. This time of year, it's kind of hard to tell. It's possible the queen may have shut down because the weather's getting colder and they know they need to be preparing for winter. But we'll see what we find when we get in there. So I see this first frame is just foundation and they haven't really done a whole lot with it so i will probably pull this one out so they have less to work with uh less to try to prepare for winter So first frame, they've got some pollen in there. Um, I see a little bit of nectar, but not a lot. On the other side, I see quite a bit more nectar, but they don't have that comb built down very far. So not fantastic to find, but not horrible. frames are certainly not as heavy as the frames in the uh, other hive. Um, so they've got some cat brood on here, and that's good because they had none before. They've got larvae at different ages, some small, some medium. Um, so that kind of answers the question of whether I have a queen problem here. So we know there's a queen in there doing her thing. The other side, similar story. We got some cat brood on there. We've got some larvae in there. Some of the cells that are empty, they're storing up some nectar, and that's good. They were storing nectar before, like I said, so that wasn't as much of a concern with these, but uh, they're getting some stores up for winter. Again, we've got some cat brood on here up towards the top middle. Uh, they got some drone cells on here. No brood in them. Uh, some cat brood kind of down the middle there. 
and then storing up nectar in the rest. This is just what they need to do. And the same story. We've got cat brood in there, got uh, nectar in the empty cells, and then mirror image got drone brood on the same places on this. So here we don't have as much, or don't have any brood on this frame. We've got nectar and a little bit of pollen in here. And uh, that's about where it stands. Let's see about the other side. This is the side that was facing those other brood frames. We've got some pollen started up in there. Got a little yellow and white and orange pollen in there, but, uh, and some nectar, but no brood in here. I'm looking to see if there might happen to be any eggs in here. Not seeing any. So, I don't know. Maybe they're just preparing these cells to... Uh, preparing these cells to store nectar. Now this next frame is kind of interesting. This is one of my very original frames. Before I ever had these, there was a colony in a tree nearby that uh, ended up dying out in the winter. Um, the limb they were in fell and a neighbor told me about it and we brought it here to my house. but. I wasn't smart enough to do anything to help them. So at the top of this frame, we have a section about the first four inches that's all pretty much drone brood. And what that has to do with that colony from the tree is that uh, that was a piece of comb out of that tree that I mounted in this frame to use in swarm traps. Now why did I use drone brood? Well, that's what I had. And at the time I just grabbed it and didn't think much about it. Um, probably not the greatest idea to, as you're trying to get a colony started, give them nothing but drone cells. But anyway, that's what we got. So that's a piece of original comb from a tree um, that now the bees have built out the rest of it. And they've got this pretty much stored up with nectar. So that's nice. Making good use of it. And this final frame is just, uh, now it's glued in, just like the rest. Come on, there we go. And it's foundation that they haven't really built out. So, again, there's no need for them to keep that. They're, I don't want to, with time so short to winter, I don't want to bother to try to make them build that out. And, uh, I'd rather them build length onto the other frames. So we're going to take this out. That'll leave them with five frames, which is what I'm, I'm ending up with most of, in most of my colonies. Uh, maybe not the optimum number, but they seem to be working it out to have three frames of brood and uh, two frames of honey. A frame of honey on each end, which is what they need. So we'll knock these bees off and take this frame out. And this hive has the entrance right in the middle, so I guess I could technically leave the frames right in the middle. But I'm going to try to offset them a little bit to the side so that in the winter time, um, that entrance won't be right in the center of the frames. Uh, it'll protect them a little bit from any wind that happens to come right to the entrance. So I'm going to offset them just a little bit.
So in a nutshell, I'd say the mother colony is fairly well prepared for winter. Not as well as uh, the last colony we inspected, which uh, was actually a split off of this one. But uh, um, they're getting there. We'll keep feeding and, uh, and help them to pre prepare up that, the honey resources that they're going to need through winter. So again, doing fairly well. I'm pretty happy.